Hello and welcome to A VO's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business, sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. It is Tuesday, the 7th of September. Today we are doing, like I announced yesterday, Tech Tuesday. I'm going to be showing you the manual way to get rid of sibilance, those hard S's, um, instead of having to use a de over your entire file, which can oftentimes screw up your file, I'm going to actually show you how to do it manually so that you get great results each time. It's a fantastic way to do it. Real quick, before we move on, if you're brand new, thank you for showing up. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Also, make sure you check out the link below for our new Avios Journey Elite Academy. Uh, Really unbelievable. We've got, we had a great session last night for voice acting. We have four sessions a week. If you're new, if you've been in the business a while and you're trying to grow, you're trying to learn more, you're trying to get more work, the VoiceOver Elite Academy is the place to be. Four live coaching sessions each week, different teachers, uh, wonderful content, and uh, you absolutely love it. There'll be a link below as well as you can go to aviosjourney.com. All right, let's go ahead and dive into, whoops. Let's dive into this session here. So basically, what I've done is I've highlighted a little spot. This is a uh, spot that I did for um, an app that was uh, for a company that does like, you know, app games like, you know, um, like a roulette and things like that. So anyways, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. We're going to listen to this. I think I'm supposed to be an old funny wizard yelling or something. So let's take a listen here. So to even further heights. All right. So you can hear, right? It's a sore to even further heights. Let's raise the volume a little bit. So to even further heights. All right. So we've got two S's, two hard S's in the beginning here and at the end. All right. And what I want to do is I'm going to show you a way in Adobe Audition. But the cool thing is, is even though I'm in Adobe Audition, you can do this in any uh, on any DAW. OK, so basically I'm going to start with this one right here, this S right here. OK, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come up to effects and I'm going to go down to filter and EQ and go to the parametric equalizer. OK. All right, I'm going to set it at default. Basically, what I want to do is I want to target the frequency that the as making that hard S sound. Okay, I want to target the frequency. And once I find the frequency that's making that really harsh sound, I'm going to simply reduce the dB. And the parametric equalizer allows me to see where the frequencies are peaking, allows me to uh, increase the volume so that I can determine you know, what's really bad and then decrease the volume and actually save that setting, but not decrease the volume over the entire piece only decrease it over a section. Or I can actually, if I set this correctly, I can use it as a de for the entire audio and it will be uniquely tailored towards me so that I don't mess up the rest of my audio. The problem with a lot of de is that they mess up your audio. So, you know, they, they make it sound muddled and not so good, even, even some of the best ones. So this one, we're, because they're, they're doing a generalization, they're not targeting it for your specific frequencies. We're all different. So I'm going to go ahead and dive in here. This is, uh, the, this is the parametric equalizer. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hit toggle loop. Okay, now watch your ears, because <laughs> when I push play, all right, I'm going to play this back and forth, and this is going to start to show me where the frequencies are. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to use four, okay, which is right here, and I'm going to take the Q width, all right, which determines whether this is like a, a more of a gradual arc or more of a peak, all right, and I'm going to raise that the higher it goes, the more of a peak it is, okay? So you can see here, if I raise the dB, it raises that up, it lowers that down, okay? So the higher I raise it up, it's gonna make it louder. The lower I raise it down, it's gonna make it lower, okay? Um, so right now we're at 3200 hertz. Once I push play, we're gonna kinda see where this is, okay? So let's go ahead and do it. 
Okay, so you see it's kind of peeking around here, around here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna fend this right here, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise this. All right, and I'm gonna stop it there. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to determine, and, and with my ears, through my monitors or your headphones, whatever you're listening to, what frequency sounds the harshest to me, okay? And I can do that by... So you could tell right there, that just sounds the harshest, okay? And, you, you know, even with even and we can see that, you know, before we even raise the volume, there was a peak right there. OK, so what I want to do now is I'm going to take the DB and I'm going to lower it now. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to. OK, so now you can see how it's flattened that out. It's lowering it. Now I've done it about uh, 9.6 dB, I've lowered it, and right now I've got a width of 12. Now, the again, the higher you do it, all right, the higher you move the width, it makes it narrower, which allows you to focus in on specific frequencies. Or if you're having trouble, you can make it wider, right? But the wider you get, you'll notice that the arc gets smoother or it gets um, not as steep, which then targets more frequencies, okay? So, you know, you want to try to get it at least between 10 to 12 or whatever. I like to do it. And, you know, I like to get it down between, you know, 8 and 10 or so. All right. Um, but this is going to, again, this is about what works for your voice. See, so now you can hear that. So what I'm going to do is if I toggle this button on and off, you can hear it while it's working and then you can hear it while it's not working. So right now it's on. All right. And I'm as when I push play, I'm going to go ahead and toggle it on and off so you can hear it. Hopefully you can hear that. It's very noticeable on my end. I hope, I hope it's noticeable on your end. So then what I can do is I can actually, once I get to this point, I can hit apply, all right? And you can see how it actually, uh, how it actually lowered that volume, okay? And lowered it. So now, all right, it's a lot lower. Now I wanna go back and I wanna show you another method. So that's one method. I wanna show you two methods actually. So this is the second method. This is the absolute most manual method. Now something about sibilance that I always find interesting, if you look at the wave file on an S or a T or a Ch, anything where it's a long drawn out or uh, syllable, um, you know what I mean? Um, it, it has a more distinct look to it. The frequencies here you can see are closer together whereas these are not as close together right so what that what does that mean why am i talking about this because what this allows us to do is we can actually come in here and we can delete sections of this and it won't cause an issue to the sound meaning like it won't make a click noise or uh, some sort of artifact whereas if you do it to um, something that doesn't have this close, all right, uh, frequencies together, then, you know, you're going to get some weird artifact sounds. But basically, if you're just having a hard time and you want to get rid of a S, a hard S, this is how you do it. All right, I've got my S here. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to click just a little bit. I'm going to hit delete. I'm going to click here a little bit. I'm going to hit delete. I'm going to click here. I'm going to hit delete. Then I'm going to take the whole piece, lower the volume. So now, other heights. So look at that. Totally took care of the S. All right. So let's go back. Whoop. Sorry. Look at that. I mean, that is the ultimate way to take care of it manually. All right. Um, you know, again, you can't target your whole piece of audio by doing it this way, but this gives you a method that you can use manually in case you're struggling with the DS or struggling finding the frequencies. It's just not sounding right, and you really want to get rid of that S. Okay. So let's go back, and we've got another one right here, real quick. I'm going to do it manually again. All right, and you could take out two or three spots. It doesn't matter how much you take out, but you just take out a little bit. We're trying to make the S not as long and then reduce the overall volume. So I'm going to take this out. 
I'm going to take out some more here, and I'm going to take out a little bit more there, and then I'm going to come down here, and I'm just going to reduce the volume a few dB. All right, so now, sword! okay, and if I go back, whoops, sorry, if I go back now to this other file, uh, the other piece, here we go, how it was before, <laughs> I hate when it goes that. But you can hear, right? Like, you can see the massive difference with it. So to even further heights! Really amazing. So let's go back to how it was when we, when I first started, which I'm trying to see. Where was it? Was it here? Uh, was it in here? No, 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 no. Where was it? I think it was here. So to even further heights! All right, so that's the piece there. So let's go back after we changed everything. So to even further heights. Totally different. Totally night and day different, right? You can do it manually. You could do it the one way I showed you, which actually is more of an automatic way. I did it automatically without thinking about it. Um, or this is the pure manual way to get rid of your de-esser, all right? Get rid of your sibilance. All right. Well, you guys, I hope that this video has helped you. Please uh, like, you know, put a comment down below if you have any other questions. And also, don't forget to check out Avio's Journey Elite Academy. All right. And uh, you guys have a wonderful Tuesday. Tomorrow we'll be back for Marketing Wednesday. All right. Goodbye.